Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 20 favorite swimsuit shots out of the top 75 for Miss Universe Philippines 2021. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so that you know when new episodes come out. And if you're a pageant contestant who wants to learn how to stand out in the interview room, then click the description below and learn more about Rehearsed to Relatable. This is a course for pageant contestants so that they can learn how to create a personal brand that makes them different from any other contestant. Want to learn more? Just click that description. First, let's just say congratulations to all the contestants that have made it this far into that top 75. This has been no easy feat. It's an incredible group of women. And what's even more challenging, I think, is that there's only one crown to be won at the end of all of this. But there's so much that each of these women is gaining in the process. So I want to congratulate all of you. And I really want to encourage any of the contestants who have not made it this far in the competition that a dream delayed is not a dream denied. Remember that it's still possible to come back or compete in other organizations. So don't let any of this discourage you, let it empower you and remind you how capable you are. In no particular order, here are my favorite swimsuit photos. Look at her in this power pose, okay, in a very powerful and passionate color. So what I liked about this is that I don't think it was really overdone with the hair and the makeup. It was very bright and very fresh, and I just love that for swimsuit photo shoots. Sherla nailed this for me. Okay, so she's giving me model vibes here though, which I don't know how you guys feel about that because this is a pageant, but I personally loved it. It just looks like this is an agency shot digital, like she could easily submit this for some sort of swim campaign. And once again, her natural beauty is coming through. Camille was one of the few contestants who actually smiled in her swimsuit photo shoot, and I loved it. It's just a different way to go. It feels really representative of who she is and how she showed up in her introduction video. So I was all for this. I love the ponytail and I love how natural and fresh she looked. Look at this queen, right? I love this black swimsuit on her. It's very simple, but it really pops with her dark hair, okay? And this pose and the straight hair back and it's flowing in the wind, just everything about this and the hair, the makeup, the styling of it. She's a little bit glam for a swimsuit shoot, but I'm loving it here. I think she looks fantastic and this pose really, really worked for her body and for the swimsuit, just stood out to me. Is there anything she can't do, right? I feel like Loren is a really, really well-rounded competitor. And a lot of you were bringing up in the comments below that you wanted a title holder this year because there's not very much preparation time for Miss Universe who had already represented Philippines at an international level. And honestly, that's not a bad way to go, guys. That's not a bad strategy. A, a title holder who's gonna be able to immediately step into that role and not be on such a learning curve. Somebody who's already been under the pressure of an international audience and has had all eyes on her and knows how to handle that. And guys, I feel like that, that could potentially be a really, really great quality for you, especially going into Miss Universe. Grace is giving us face. Am I right? Okay. So this pose is beautiful. It's enticing. It draws you in with her eyes. I love it. It's just so well done, shot, edited, everything. Victoria and those legs, right? Oh my goodness. Queen, look at Queen Victoria over here. Wow. All right. So this image also reminds me of a modeling comp card. Like she's ready to go. She's ready to head to market. She's going to book the next swimsuit campaign, fly her out to Miami for swim week, right? Like she's going to be doing it. So I liked it. She's smiling here. She's ha It's playful for swimsuit. I think you could be fun. You can go two different ways. You can be fun and playful. You can be sexy in a swimsuit. There's so many ways to rock it, but I just, what I really appreciate is I feel like she's just owning who she is and she's confident and the styling is really simple and her body just looks incredible, right? Like, can we just, can we just appreciate that for a second? The work that goes into maintaining this, right? She looks fantastic. She looks healthy and I love it. Elaine has one of the most glamorous swimsuit photo shoots, which honestly really put me on the edge. I felt like this styling and the editing reminded me a little bit more of what we would see with an evening gown. But honestly, when you look this gorgeous, 
can't count it against you. I really like this image from Peach. I thought it was so complimentary to her body. And by the way, she was one of the contestants I mentioned in my introductions video that was just on the edge for me with that video. But okay, so for me though, she's still, she's still doing it. She's still bringing it. And she has been one of the contestants that I am noticing. Is it just me or is Princess giving you Pia vibes with her eyes? That's how I felt. So this image was really unique to me because of the posing of it, but I really loved the swimsuit too. I'm such a fan of a one piece. And I just thought that everything in its totality looked great on her immediately caught my attention. Gorgeous. Beatrice, this was the first photo as I was looking through all of them that made me go, wow, wow, okay legs for days in this image. I just, something about just putting that foot up on that step girl, putting it up there and that she had a simple heel that was well styled, the hair pulled up, pulled back out of the face. She's working that face. This to me, it's just making her look like a very, very tough competitor. So now I'm, I'm really zoning in on her and really focused on her after seeing this. Okay, Simone. Okay, bringing it with this swimsuit shot. Ah, so the thing that I really liked about this image, first of all, a great, great swimsuit on her. It looks wonderful. I like the bracelet, really minimal styling, but the hair, the hair was so, so soft. And I think that sometimes with a swimsuit shoot, personally, what I like is hair that's not gonna look over styled. And I feel like this hair just looks soft. It looks natural. It looks like how you could look by the pool right before you jump in. Isabella. Okay guys, I talked about her in my last episode about introductions that I didn't even realize how gorgeous she was and she is and she's just gonna serve face all day. Okay, so just be ready for it. Be ready for it when she hits the stage. Okay, Maureen is just everything all the time to me. How could she not be in my top 20? She is used to taking these types of images for digitals, for modeling. So I feel like this is her just in her zone. But I will say, I don't think that this is her strongest image. I much preferred her initial headshot for the competition, but I have no worries about this queen. I'm sure she's gonna stay consistent throughout the competition. Christelle, okay, so many of you have commented that we're like twins and thank you, cause I think she's beautiful. <laughs> so she looks really, really great here. And this shot, this shot is fun. It's kind of blown out. I like that her skin almost looks wet in this. So it's like, look at her stepping out of the pool. Okay, so it just, it just makes a lot of sense and it's fresh, loved it. Okay, Steffi, another eye-catching image. This is another one of the images that the, the second I saw it, I was like, oh, wow, wow. Okay, so I love this action shot and she's going very, very minimal here. It, it could have gone wrong in so many different ways. This swimsuit is practically blending into her skin. Very natural makeup, no earrings. I mean, she's going very minimal, but I think what really put this over the top was that ponytail in the air. The ponytail in the air, guys, the movement in that image just really made it much more high fashion in addition to this pose and how great she looks. Stands out. Joanna is giving me 90s supermodel vibes. Does anyone feel that with this pose and just the way that she's holding herself and keeping her chin up? I loved it. Even the shorter hairstyle that's very soft, very fluffy, very voluminous. We would see that a lot in the 90s and I'm such a fan of it. I would like to see some of those styles come back, but it's just beautiful. She's not over the top. She's very understated, but still wonderfully done. Okay, Maria, this is what I call a strong pose. When I see this image, I just see a picture of strength in a woman. And I love that about this image so, so much. Also another very unique pose that we're seeing here. And I just like the creativity of it. Honestly, I would never have thought to do this pose for a swimsuit photo shoot if this was me, but it's working for her. She's standing out. Okay, the moment that I saw this image, all I could think about was body yaddy 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 yaddy. That's initially what just drew my attention here. But what's great about this image as well is it's pretty natural styling. And I really like, she has a soft facial expression. The posing really does complement her body and her shape. The only thing is I think that it got a little bit blown out on her face. So if you notice the body is slightly darker than the face, that also could have been just the foundation that was applied to her. But either way, 
beautiful. Out of all the contestants, the photo that I really keep coming back to belongs to Katrina. So I love this image so, so much. It's bright, the white swimsuit looks great against her tan skin tone. The heels are fun, they're current, they're trendy. I really like the earrings as well. I love the styling, I love the soft hair. Her hair doesn't look like if you went up and touched it that it would crunch or anything like that. She's in this great power pose. She's one of our few contestants that's smiling. Her skin is glowing. It's just, just check, 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 check. This image does it for me. There you have it. Those are my top 20 favorites for swimsuit. And I will tell you, there were about 10 other contestants that were right on my edge too for being in this episode. I was just sitting and going like, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, what do I do? So there were quite a few others that I really, really did love. And I'm really excited though, just to see who keeps advancing. This is really fun, Miss Universe Philippines. Just remember that these contestants need your votes. That's helping them to advance to the next round, as well as the opinions of members of the Miss Universe Philippines organization. So we can help get these ladies into the next round and closer and closer to the crown. So just download that Miss Universe Philippines app if you guys wanna follow along. But honestly, this is really fun. I love seeing all these virtual challenges. I can't wait to see the show. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the channel with your friends if you enjoy this content. I greatly appreciate that. It means so much to me. And remember guys, to keep it kind in the comment section below. Share about the contestants you love and support them, but let's not discourage or put anyone down. These women are amazing and they're doing so much to strive for their goals and to reach towards them. So let's just encourage them along the way. Let's be the best cheerleaders. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I can't wait to see you at the next one.